Hey guys, this is Jen DeVita, your real estate solution, and I am wearing my readers because I need them. Um, but real quick with this newsletter that's going out for January, I wanted to shout out a couple different things. Number one, Happy New Year. I hope that your holidays were safe and healthy and peaceful. Now let's get ready for 2021 because it's going to be a big year. First off, I wanted to announce our total sales for Future Home Realty woo, woo, in the state of Florida. So get ready, this is a big number. We generated just over $1.8 billion in sales. So congratulations to all my fellow agents and just an amazing company that I've been with for um, just over 15 years. Uh, and a big shout out to our broker, Bob McDougall, because he really leads a great company and the numbers are representative of that. My sales myself, um, I did just over 12 million, so I'm really happy about that for 2020. And um, <clears throat> okay, so moving on. Oh wait, well, and thank you to all my beautiful clients because without you guys, I never would have made that number. So I am so very, very grateful that I have people like you uh, and even for my future clients that I was able to really just have a successful 2020. Um, but a lot of that business actually, gosh, I really think like most of it was referrals or repeat business with people uh, moving out of state or just downsizing or upgrading. It was amazing. Um, okay. First thing I want to mention is this, and I'll try to educate you to the best of my ability. I'm not a mortgage broker, although many, many, many years ago I was. Um, I'm big into knowing about your loans because right before the home comes, we have to know all about the loan. Without the moolah, you are not getting the property. So um, the FHA, FA, which stands for Federal Housing Finance Agency, has increased the conforming loan amounts to $548,250. So first off, what does that mean, conforming? Um, it's conforming within guidelines um, versus a non-conforming loan. So what does that really mean in essence is that you can get more money to purchase a property um, in the conforming guidelines and that typically offers you a better interest rate. Because it's conforming, there's probably less risk in the eyes of the um, the lender or the bank and so they're going to offer that lower interest rate when you start to step out of the boundaries and you step into non-conforming loans um, they can be done but you'll probably pay just a little bit more maybe not a significant amount more i'm not sure i'd have to check with my lender um, on interest rate so it comes down to money uh, getting more money at a cheaper rate for people the other thing i wanted to talk about real quick and this is just from me to you if you have refied this year or 2020, congratulations, you stepped into an amazing interest rate. But I encourage you to please use that money to pay off debt. Um, you know, a lot of times it's just nice to breathe because you have a lower mortgage payment and that is wonderful. But if there's any opportunity to start to chip away at excess debt, go ahead and do it. Take advantage of that refi in not only your household mortgage payment, but start to get rid of debt and go debt free. Woohoo! The last thing I wanted to say um, before logging off is make the move. Make the move and use me to make the move. But more importantly, if anything, uh, 2020 showed us that we really just have to um, live life. Uh, uncertainty is part of life and um, we just never know. And so if you've been dreaming about getting out of your place, getting something new, going smaller, being near the water, going to a condo that's maintenance free, or getting a house on an acre of land and having chickens, whatever that is for you, just step by step you can do it. And you know what, you can call me first and we can create a plan. I have people in my corner that I've been working with for years and we can get answers, I promise you that. So call me if you have any questions, if you're thinking about making any real estate changes for 2021, and have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.